Welcome to day 10 of the Easter Geology Challenge. So here's the answers to some of the questions yesterday. So the vamp song, which has something to do with geology, was Volcano, okay? The Queen song was We Will Rock You, of course, and the Robbie Williams song was Rock DJ. And the song with the lyrics drifting apart like a plate tectonics was the Kaiser Chiefs' Oh My God. So if you don't know that one, check it out. There it is, drifting apart like a plate tectonic. So moving on to the films, um, the Michael Douglas film was Romancing the Stone, Stone, Geology, see? And the Harrison Ford film was Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. So I think I might need some help with some of your questions, so if you have a look on Facebook and if you know the answer to those questions that you've been posing, please put it on the Facebook page and help me out. Thanks very much. Okay, so I've put the 10 answers to Ian Sharp's first 10 questions on Facebook. So if you've been wondering what all the uh, those rocks are and the questions he was asking you, if you were wondering what the answers were, they're now in the comment section on Facebook. So uh, have a look at those. So yesterday I asked the question, what is a mineral? Well, examples are things like quartz and calcite. Um, that's the one thing that all rocks have in common. They're all made of minerals. Minerals are always naturally occurring and they're made of things called elements and compounds. So that's what a mineral is. So today what I want to talk to you about is how do we turn a loose sediment like this into a rock. So this, I want you to consider this to be loose sediments, it could be these pebbles, or it could be grains of sand. How do we actually get that to turn into a sediment, sedimentary rock? It's a bit like how we make concrete. Um, the loose sediment needs to have a cement added to it to make it all bind together. And so what we do is we add a new mineral, like quartz, like calcite, but also sometimes iron oxide minerals, and that binds um, the grains together. Also today I want to talk about metamorphic rocks. How do they form? One amazing concept about metamorphic rocks is that rocks recrystallize, but completely in a solid state. They never melt. You know, if they were to melt, they'd form an igneous rock, because um, igneous rocks form from molten magma. But Metamorphic rocks start as pre-existing rocks, like a sedimentary rock or even an igneous rock, and uh, they get subjected to huge pressures and temperatures, and they recrystallize, but they never melt. It's all in a solid state, which seems like a very, very odd concept to us. This picture is from my time in Greenland. Um, this is a snow field over um, a river, and I remember walking over this one and going up to the side of it and kicking it. And surprisingly, it's splintered off into vertical crystals. So here you can see the vertical crystals. It looked just like a snowfield from the top. You might be able to see that uh, from the top view there. But it's splintered off into these vertical crystals. So with rocks, that's happening deep within the earth. Um, at the heart of mountain belts, the rocks are subjected to high pressures and temperatures that they're able to recrystallize without melting. If those ice crystals had melted, they'd have turned to water and flowed away. That didn't happen. You know, they recrystallized completely in the solid state. Uh, and so that's the idea about what happens with metamorphic rocks, is that they're subjected to the right pressures and temperatures where the minerals can recrystallize and form new metamorphic minerals without melting. Very strange concept, but hopefully those, uh, Iceland, those ice crystals from Greenland will help you kind of understand that idea. So your challenge for today, uh, quite a difficult one. What I want you to do is to turn a loose sediment into a sedimentary rock. How can you do that? You're going to, what are you going to do to turn loose sediments, maybe some sand you've got, maybe some little bits of pebbles. How are you going to turn that into something solid like a rock? Okay, that's a really difficult challenge for you, but send your pictures and your videos in to me. See you tomorrow.